So I get asked the question, how did you open up a suit store? Why suiting in general? Um, how did this all come about and how come you're doing it even though it's got nothing to do with the course you're studying at uni? So after year 12 had finished, I was doing a security course um, and the security course was located right next to a shopping center. So I'd take my lunch breaks at that shopping center and one day I remember I had to get something, I think it was a pair of shorts and I walked into a store and I was just speaking with the ma manager and we got along and she pretty much asked me to give in my resume uh, the next day. So I was like no problems, handed in my resume and before I knew it she gave me a phone call went in for an interview, long story short, I got the job. And that job was in a men's clothing store, Connor. Um, and that was an incredible foot into the real world for me because I had just finished school, my ATI isn't even out yet. And you know, I went into the retail game and you know, into the real world where you have to communicate with people outside of your circle and sell things. So it was a whole new experience. and. You know, went through the meetings, it went well, and I started work. And I remember it was like a, during, during Christmas time. So it was a busy period in general as well. And I was selling all types of clothing. I was selling anything from t-shirts, to shorts, to socks, to suits, to, you know, jeans. And what I realized is that I enjoyed selling suits the most out of all of those items because I felt like there was something about it, you know, you're actually, um, you're doing more than just selling a, a simple t-shirt that's just like casual vibe. You're selling it to an event. Sometimes you get a groomsman, you get a groom in and you know, you're seeing the results of selling a suit and you're seeing, you know, how happy people get when they wear something that looks, you know, very nice on them. So pretty much I was really enjoying selling suits and then I worked at that company for about two years. Um, in two different stores and I liked it. I liked selling, I liked speaking with people. Um, I really enjoyed, you know, communicating and reaching KPIs, etc., etc. But, you know, I was, I was done with that company. I realized I was getting a bit comfortable and I hate getting comfortable somewhere because, um, you know, it stops you from that growth. So I had to reach my point where I got everything I wanted out of that job. So I moved on to another job, which was nothing got to do with that job because it was currency. So I was buying and selling, um, you know, currency for a company. And pretty much my goal was that until I finish my university degree, I will get experience in every sort of industry. So the first one I had retail, now I was going into like finance, next it was gonna be probably, you know, car or something like that, just so I can get an experience or anything. So that was my goal. Um, and at the same time, I was saving money from both the jobs that I was working at, just so I was building for something with that money. Complete, completely different, it was for a house and like, I was just saving up some money. So I worked at, you know, the clothing store and the currency at the same time for a long time whilst also doing security at night. Um, and then after I left uh, the clothing store, I worked in like a perfume store, I worked everywhere, you know, I was doing pretty practically anything and I was working in security as well, just, you know, getting that money um, and saving up as much as I can. And then one day I remember I was studying for a uni exam and I just had like an epiphany. So I just had a moment where I was thinking that I needed a suit, but I'm so bored of the usual traditional way of buying a suit, which is going to a shopping center every single time and seeing what's there and walking out with it. I wanted something for me. I wanted something personalized. But whenever I was on the internet looking for these alternatives, um, it, there was a very hefty cost associated to it. So um, I was like, look, I can't afford that. I don't know when I would actually be able to afford that. And the reason why that cost is associated is because they're offering a service which is made to measure, which means that practically you walk in there, you choose the fabric swatches, um, and you choose you know, the lining and the buttons, and then they create that suit for you from the beginning. And obviously that process is a long process, it's harder, it takes a lot of time, hence why you know it's got a high cost associated to it. Especially if you wanna get something done well, um, you do want to pay that amount so you get that result takes six weeks and I was like, look, I'm never gonna be able to afford that, but I'm still not happy with the traditional way of suiting. I'm like, what if there was a place whereby the suits are already there, however, they're tailored to you and you don't pay extra money for that alteration service, right? Because 
every day in, in, in the store that I used to work at, we used to sell suits that um, are the closest to your body shape, but we all come in different shapes and sizes and forms, and it's not perfect for you. But with adjustments, you can make the suit completely different. Like, you can make it perfect, and you'd love wearing that. You'd get so much more wears out of it. And, you know, instead of paying, like, for a cheap suit, um, getting one wear out of it, you can get a suit that you paid a bit more for, however, it's just something you want to wear all the time. You feel comfortable in it, you feel confident in it. So, I was like, what if there was something like that? I don't want to walk into, like, I don't want to walk in somewhere and, you know, I know I need to get my jacket sleeve shorter, I know I need to get my pants tapered and shortened, but when they tell me it's going to cost me an extra 150 bucks to do, and, you know, and they're not confident in doing the tailoring and stuff. So I don't want to come across that. What if there was a place like that? So that's where the idea was born out of. And I was like, I can do that. And I remember just sitting, I was like, this is like the greatest idea. And I took a break from studying and I went to the kitchen um, and I was just like, I have a fantastic idea. This is whatever. Um, and then, yeah, normally I always had ideas for business ventures, but that slowly fade away. But this one stayed with me and it stayed with me for quite a few months, around four to five months, six months. And I was like, okay, I really, really want to do this. And now I need to take this seriously and work towards it. So what did I do? I said, I need to put my foot back into that industry again, because when you think of something, I believe that you've got to be patient with it and you know, you've got to take necessary steps towards it. So I, um, Practically look at which company is doing the best in my industry, has the biggest market share and can bring a lot of value to me. Found that company, applied to them and worked there for a matter of 9 to 10 months after that. Um, just so I can get used to suiting again, just so I can get back into the game, um, get myself used to it and really solidify this idea in my mind. Do I actually still want to do that? And I was there for 9 to 10 months and... I enjoyed it. I was like, yep, yeah, this is definitely what I would do. I think there is a niche or there is a part in the market where I want to target. I think I've got all my you know, objectives crystal clear and I need to work towards it. So what did I do? Um, I went overseas with my father. We spoke to suppliers, I made connections, which is a story for another day, but I did all the things necessary, came back to Australia, ordered the products, waited for the shipment to come, learned a lot of things in logistics um, and, and other things, and I just registered for a business and did all the necessary steps. And then I went and looked for shops. Um, and before I knew it, after one and a half years, close to two years of thinking about this idea, it was actually becoming a reality. Um, you know, I remember walking into this store right now, completely empty, and I was like, yep, yeah, I'm feeling it. And I just went for it. That's all it was. And the, the, the money that I had savings, which was supposed to be for something else, I was like, look, I think it's worth a shot. I think it's something that I'll regret not doing later and I hate that feeling. So I'm gonna go for it. And if it happens, it happens, you know? So I invested all of that money without borrowing, you know, debt from a bank or anything at all <clears throat> to open this, pay for my products, you know, spoke to suppliers, got the products in, and that's pr practically how it happened. It was, it was a dream at the start. It was an epiphany. It was an idea, but it came so natural to me. I felt like it would be so valuable for the Australian market. I feel like it's something we lack, you know, that service, that feeling, without that associated price. Um, and yeah, pretty much I went head first. And here I am, four months in. So just wanted to explain that for you guys. That's how it happened. I'm sure I forgot a lot of things, but you know, I'll come back to them sometime. Thank you.